right here you got it, Hugo Savinovich. Invader number one in progress with the hot rod man himself, hot rod Roddy Piper. And then you know, ladies and gentlemen, this are the classics. These are the classic matches for the WW, uh, WWC. And I'll tell you something right now. You take a look at Hot Rod Roddy Piper, and he's down here fighting the Invader, one of the toughest men on the block in Puerto Rico. He was not well liked here in Puerto Rico or the Caribbean islands, or to speak about it, in the United States. He did become a, a great superstar. It was feuds like this one with Invader One that made him a household name in professional wrestling because Piper, it's every bit of that. A rowdy competitor, a tough cookie, and he was really ready for any kind of competition. We're looking at a classic encounter, the Beta One against Roddy Piper, who had come to the islands insulting the Puerto Rican wrestlers and their race, and this was the match to settle all the scores between the rowdy one himself, Piper, and the Beta One. Yeah, right there, you saw Roddy Piper. He, he cut up on that top rope. He went to give him a big knee there. The invader number one, just taking the measure of Roddy Piper, taking him and just, like you say, just, there he goes. There's the hot rod. Hot rod got him down. Now he's going for a Boston grab. Can he turn him over? I don't know. The invader number one is a pretty strong old boy. There oh, look at the figure. Oh, him. my goodness. What a move. Carlos Colon's pet. Hold right there, Hugo Smithovich, and he put it right on the invader. See, the invader was worried about if he turn him over that box and grab. And he and fell right to the... Swift him right in. Right. Great move by Piper. Now, the invader one must turn him over. He's trying to get all the strength he can for himself, for the wrestling fans, and he's trying to get out of that hold. There's a hot rod holding on to the ropes, putting a little more leverage on it. I had the pleasure, Jaggers, of been around many of the matches of Piper and with this man you never knew what he was gonna do. He had a fuse that was so short you never knew when it was gonna go or when it went. He went big time I'll tell you. Roddy, Roddy probably one of the toughest guys in professional wrestling for a long time and now that he is retired I'm sure there are a lot of guys taking a sigh of relief from that. Yeah. Well I know the world of professional wrestling it's gonna always miss. Somebody like Roddy Piper, very important to the growth in audience and spectators all over the world because this man had a lot of followers, not only in TV programs, but they wanted to see him live everywhere he went with success for the promotions that had him under contract. Look at that Invader starting to switch that over now. Invader starting to switch that, reverse that figure four, and there he goes, and he's got all the pressure on Roddy Piper. Roddy's in the ropes, they're gonna have to break the hold. Okay, referee breaks the hole. Piper, feeling some pain. Misses the clothesline and he and falls right into the sleeper. Hole. See there, that invader ducked that clothesline and went right to the sleeper hole, just like Roddy did a few minutes ago with the, trying to go for the Boston Crab and reversed it right in the middle of it and going for the figure four. Both right men. there you saw the invader do about the same. Both men going for some Good moves, and there we heard the bell rang. I think we heard the time, bell rang. Time, time expired. Draw. We're so fortunate to have been able to save this last minutes of this match for all of you fans right now to witness one of the classic encounters between Rowdy Piper and Invader Number One. Obviously, here time running out. This was once. This was just one of the first matches of Piper in main event matches here in the World Wrestling Council. And ladies and gentlemen, there goes uh -oh. Roddy Piper right back on the Invader number one. What did I tell you about? You never know what you Piper You never know when he's gonna explode. When he explodes, he explodes good. The Roddy. Oh, he just ran the Invader's head Heads right first. at that ring post. Did you see that? Wow. Oh. Boy, he threw his face in that ring post, didn't he? The referee pushing Piper back. The better one bleeding outside the ring, but Piper's coming back for more. Boy, I'll tell you something right now. He busted him wide open. Whoa. Piper all over the head of the better one. Boy, he run his head right there at ring post. Look at the hand, blood up. Oh, he beat him up. He beat him up good, didn't he? Blood all over his hand. The damage has been done. Time expiring on the official match, but they better want getting hit hard against the ring post. Hit, hit, hit. 
Let's listen to it. Here we go. Let's see if we hear it. Oh. Ask him for five more minutes. Yeah. He did it in a very blunt way. A personal challenge. After the invader got his head busted open, and got beat on by the microphone. I don't think he's gonna get in the ring for five more minutes. You okay, so Piper hits him twice in the head with the mic, hits him against the ring post. Oh, there is the hat. It is, is, is that the hat we were talking about? Jagger's uh, the famous hat? That's right, the famous hat of Roddy Piper's that you've been telling me about. You like this hat, don't you? Bro? Boy, he came into the islands with this hat and everybody on the streets was talking about it the next day. Well, I hope they get a close-up of the hat. I want to see the hat. The hat had like a, the pig's head in the front. Oh, I've seen that before. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, let's that not, was let's, with hot rod let's, let's, let's not go till we get a close-up of this hat. Let's we got to get a close-up of this hat now, Let's see if we get close to him. Okay, we're getting close there. Oh, there's the invader right back and knocked his hat off his head. Oh, aren't we happy we didn't go? Oh, boy, I'm telling you. Oh, Eddie Grass would have been hot with us. He'd be mad at us. There Eddie, goes, there's Eddie the hat. Eddie Grass would have been hot with us. Boy, I'm telling right. you. Oh, Roddy has got his head running the ring post. Boy, aren't we lucky we stayed here, Bobby? Yes, sir. Well, like we said, we're bringing you the classics, and we're got it. we went down and we got them all out. We haven't seen all of these matches, as we tell you right now. We're commentating, but like I said, here it goes, Invader number one and Roddy Piper again. Well, Piper acts for five minutes. And five minutes are not up yet. Piper, don't go. Oh, right hand by Invader. Now, Invader is bleeding. Piper, much fresher of the two, but that ain't stopping Invader for trying to get even. And I think the worst part was the insults by Piper. Okay, Piper runs out. Here goes Invader one. Boy, does Eddie Grise have a selection for classics boy, or not? I'm telling you, what, I'm going to tell you, boy, I'll tell you, now the wrestling library is complete. And Roddy Piper's head's busted open there, yes, too. Yes, sir. I'll tell you something, now the wrestling library is complete until you have all. Oh, here comes Piper again. Yep. Whoa! Oh, right in the head. Okay. Boy, I'll tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. That was a classic match. Okay, EG, now brother. we can say it's over. Let's take you now.